Good morning. <clears throat> Let's start with some deep breaths. And we're moving the fingers at the joints. And we're, we don't want to forget our thumbs. We are inhaling, lifting up, <clears throat> exhaling down. <coughs> I forgot to take my allergy medicine. Inhaling up, deep breath. And all the way down. One more. And then we're rotating at the wrist, waking up the wrist. Other direction. One way seems to be harder than the other, for me anyway. And then we're sitting up, pull the abs in. And we're pumping the arms. It's not coming forward and back. It's a short range of motion. And it can be slow or you, excuse me, or it can be faster. This is getting the blood going. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through the mouth. <clears throat> Inhale. And exhale. Relax the arms. We're going to pick up the right leg. My knee will be up high just so you can see in the camera. And rotating at the ankle. Remember, a great option is to keep the heel down. Let me scoot back. And rotate at the ankle. Let me try to see if you can see my feet. Because that's... And change your direction. I really like my heel down and moving at the ankle. I feel like I get more out of it. <clears throat> then we're going to the other side. You may want to try both ways. With the foot off of the floor. Or the toes are lifted. If I can get this. There we go. The toes are lifted. And you're rotating the ankle. There we go. I think you can see that now. And you can always just tap your toe. That's moving the ankle. And when we tap the toe, it warms up the body. It's a blood pumping too. Then we're going back to the right leg. <clears throat> and we're going to bicycle or slide the foot back and forth. What we're doing, we're waking up the joints, the ball and socket joints to start with. So that's the hip and the knee. <clears throat> but we're also waking up this muscle in the thigh. <clears throat> and then the other leg, remember you can bicycle or step back and forth or slide back and forth. And two more. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bring the foot down and a nice deep breath. Did we rotate there? I don't remember if we rotated this ankle because I changed so much on my leg. But it won't hurt to rotate again. The leg can be stretched out. The knee can be bent. So many options because we feel it different in our bodies. And change your direction or point and flex. I have met people who can't rotate here. So they have to lift and point, lift and point. And then both feet down, going to take the feet out. Try to walk them out so we can use the ankles. The knees and toes are pointed in the same direction. We're inhaling, lifting the arms. Exhale, come forward with the chest. And just move with your breath. <clears throat> now we're getting into the hips and the lower back for our warm-up. And we're taking deep breaths. Now, if your allergies are bad like mine, still try to take a deep breath. It really helps. Even if you have to, inhale through the mouth. Go right ahead. One more. We're coming up. This is star pose. Spread the fingers out. Bring the elbows in. Keep them in. And we're pushing out away from the body. My spine has not changed. I'm not rounding and I'm not arching. Then pulling back. This is a nice chest opener. And we're flexing, moving the wrist <coughs> and the arms. <coughs> so 
pressing out, inhale back, pressing out, and back. And then we're coming back and holding. If you need to step the feet in, you can. We're going right into some shoulder work. Then we'll come out of the chair for a little bit of cardio. But I want to start here. <coughs> Arms are extended. You can bend the elbows and do the same work. Shoulders will start to burn. Make a fist and we're drawing circles forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, four, three, two, one, and then we're going back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and then bend the elbows, open the palms, and we're going up and down. We're not coming down to the, to the side of the body. We're stopping where we're starting. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four. We have three more using our own body weight, working against gravity. You're still going to feel it. And then we're going to bring the elbows in and open back up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then we're going to take the palms together. You can take the elbows together, that's hard for me. And we're just lifting 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms all the way down and relax the shoulders. Nice deep breath. You may have a little burn in the shoulder muscle. That's what we're working for. <clears throat> now we're going to roll the shoulders a little bit. Doesn't stretch out much, but we need to, the rotation in the shoulder. And then we're coming forward. One more set. And then press the shoulders down, lift up through the top of the head for the neck. Staying in this position, draw the chin down. Imagine you're breathing into the back of the neck. A nice big inhale into the back of the neck. And then bring the head back to neutral. And we're going to start with our cardio in the chair. <clears throat> we may do all in the chair today, so I can show you some more options. And here, I'm just barely lifting, but I'm pumping the arms, or you can lift the heel. Lifting the heel, for me, is a work more in my calf muscle, but we're going to move anyway. I can't get my coordination. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have coordination. Sometimes when we think about it too much, it makes it harder. So we're just moving here, more movement in the joints, and we're using this this thigh muscle, this quadricep muscle to help us lift, and the lower abs. <clears throat> and then we're going, let me get my weights out of my way. I know better than this. And then we're still marching, but we're going in and out, just like we do standing. And the arms are moving. You can move here or here. Feel it in your thighs. Your thighs might start to get tired. Then we're adding on here, out, out, and in. We've added in the arms. It's like our V step when we do standing. It's the same movement. We're just not upright. Some days we need the chair. Others days, other days we don't. And we will come out of the chair. <clears throat> Gonna do some. We'll do some standing Pilates and seated Pilates and weights. Get it all in today. 
So come back to the march, and we're going to add on here with our jumping jacks, a little bit faster. You can always pump forward and back. You know, if you have shoulder injuries coming up above the head, it's harder. You can come here or all or up further. If this is bothering your lower back, step forward and back. Oops. Remember, stepping out. Now, my shoulders are tired because we did start with the shoulders. <clears throat> then we're going to start to bring it down and come back to the, to the march. I keep sliding back in my chair. <clears throat> And then start to bring it down, relax the shoulders. We're going back and forth with some of our cardio today, but we're, we're doing some seated Pilates, some leg extensions. Extend your right leg out, flex the foot, and then take the foot down and pull your abs in. Remember that tailbone tucks under. That's a nice neutral spine, abs supporting the lower back and we're lifting. Six, five, four, three. Have two more. And the further you are on your chair, the more leg that's off, the harder it's going to be. And we're changing legs. We're not turning the toe out yet. The foot is flexed. We're solid here. We're not moving up here. We're just moving the leg. Six, five. And the knee can be bent. Three, two, and one. Let's walk the feet back out. And we're going to lift the heels. And down. Up and down. This is three. We'll do three more. Three, two, one. Bring the heels down. Walk the feet back in. A little more Pilates before we come standing and before we add the weight. Going to extend your right leg out. Turn the toe out. And we're drawing six circles. Again, the knee can be bent. You can help support the leg. My knee is high just so you can see it in the camera. Bring it down. <clears throat> change legs. If this is difficult, just small Lift up and down in a small range of motion. Six circles. These are not easy. I feel these two. So you can support the leg. Two more. And bring the leg down. Nice deep breath. Inhaling. Exhale through the mouth. One more. And then we're going to round the spine for a moment to stretch through the lower back. And then we're arching the spine, we're stretching the belly, but we're mainly taking a deep breath. We'll stretch through the belly later. Just want to move the spine a little bit more. And then come back to the neutral spine. We are coming standing, and you can do a lot in the chair. We're going to start with a little balance you may want to go to the wall so you have one hand on the wall or to the back of the chair and stand sideways we're going to start with your right foot in front of the left and left in front of the right stay here it's challenging for our balance see if you can take one more step if this bothers your hip, take the foot out. It won't be as challenging for your balance. Now we're stepping back two steps. It's easier stepping back for some reason. Stepping forward. One step and hold. Ooh, I'm really shaking today. It's my back leg that's really uh, fighting for my balance. And then... Step forward again. We want to be close to something so we don't fall. 
Again, my back leg is doing all the work. And we're stepping back. And one more step. For some reason, it's easier going back. And we're coming into our mount, what we call mountain pose. Your feet hip distance, so that's right underneath your hips. A lot of the time we're out wide, that's wider than your hips. If that's comfortable, then take this wide of a stance. We're going to put the weight into your left leg. We'll be moving the right leg. Even though this is our Pilates, it still works our balance. Remember, we don't want to pop the hip out. We want to squeeze everything, pull the abs in. And on your right foot, we're lifting eight, seven. It's a small movement. That's four. This works both legs. We have weight on the left leg and moving the right leg. Then bring this foot down. And we're coming right behind. To, these are our gluteal muscles, the glutes, we call them. Minimus and maximus. <clears throat> That's what we sit on. <clears throat> but we have to have a strong backside, not just a strong front side. So we're lifting a small, small move. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Bring the foot down. Walk it out just a little bit. And then we're going to the other side. So wait into your right leg. We don't want to pop the hip out. We squeeze everything. Tailbone tucks under that neutral spine. Abs engage and reset the shoulders. <clears throat> going out to the side with your left leg. Eight. Remember, it's not a big move. Come up and you'll feel it. Once we go further, we've lost what we're, we've lost what we're focusing on to work. Can't say it. And two more. Then we're taking the foot behind and we're lifting for eight. Eight, seven, six. Standing up straight. Five, four, three. Two, one. Bring it down and kind of walk it out. You should have felt that. <clears throat> While you're taking a deep breath, let me show you what I see a lot. I see this a lot. That will hurt your lower back or I'll see this a lot. It's a small movement. See, my foot is barely lifted off of the floor. I take it back until I feel the squeeze. So let's take a deep breath. Exhale. You can come back to the chair. If you want to do your marching in the chair, I'm adding on a slight bounce. I could not do this the other day. It hurt my knees. So always listen to the body. <clears throat> my feet are just, my heels are lifting, but I'm not bringing the entire foot off of the floor. Nice little jog. Or come back and lift your feet higher or just a regular march. You'll feel it. Whatever option you take, it's working the same muscle group. You just may not be as high intensity. You don't have to be. You do not have to be. We're up or in the chair and we're moving. <clears throat> and we want to move in the right form, keep our right form, so we don't injure our body, the muscles, or our joints. Then we're going to take it down a little bit. We're going to do some lunges without the weights. So your right foot is forward. And I'm going to turn sideways and your left foot behind. You need distance here. If I'm here, when I bend this knee, it's going past my toes. So a couple feet distance. And then we're bending both knees, pressing up through the front leg and the back toes. Let's do eight. Eight. Nice and slow so we don't lose our form. Four, four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Straighten the legs. 
Bring the chest forward and step the back foot in. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. And then we're changing legs. Let's see, I was here. Okay. So it's going to be um, change legs. This time it's your left leg back, right foot forward. And we're doing eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, two, and one. Bring the back foot in and a nice deep breath. And then we're coming to the chair. Have you a little bit of water? And I want to show you an option in the chair for some lunges also. Some days we just need the chair. Sometimes our knees are hurting. So here, this is like a lunge here. And you can come forward and push up. It's not working the legs, but instead of just sitting there watching, this will give you a movement, working the hips. And it takes some ab work to sit up. You can always do that when we are here lunging. <clears throat> but we are coming here. And we're taking the palms together in the front. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, open. Your head is looking forward. Open up the shoulders. Bring them back. Two more. Working on mobility a little bit this morning. Also, when we're here, stretching the IT band. And then we're going all the way around to the other side. Get into a comfortable uh, split stance, just like a lunge, and then palms together. Inhale, open. Oh, I'm tighter over here. Exhale. We lose mobility in our joints because they start to get, the tissue around our joints starts to get <clears throat> stiff as we age. We know we age, but we have to keep moving. And then one more. So we're, this is a nice chest opener. And um, bring the arms down and moving our shoulders. Bring the foot down to the floor, turn forward. Also, remember, we're working against gravity. We didn't use our weight. That was our own body weight. So we're ready for some weights. <clears throat> and we're going to start with them on the legs. Choose your weight. I have two different weights. See how it goes today. So sitting up straight, not coming forward, and let's add a little march. It's not fast because we have weights, and the closer the weight is to the knee, the harder it will be, so you might want to slide back a little bit. And then on your right leg, Slowly getting into more work, we're going to bicycle the leg. With the weight, it's a bit harder. You also can reach out and drag the foot in. Step out and drag it in. So on your right side, we're only doing six. These are not easy with the weights. Six, five, four, three, or slide two. And one. <clears throat> now I'm my I've got knots in this uh, quadriceps, so I really felt it up here. But this is where we're going to feel it. That's where you should have felt it along with the thigh. Going to the other side. Pick the option that works for your body. You can bicycle. It's two, three, four, or back. And fourth, you're still using the weight, both legs down, both feet down. <clears throat> then we're walking 
out. Remember, we use the ankles in every chance we get. And we're going to go into the upper body a little. So we have the weights hanging down to stretch the arms out. I think you can see this. And we're going all the way up and then all the way down. Now, remember, we don't want to jerk the weights up. We're moving just the arms. If your weight is heavy, you can do it without weight or <clears throat> a lighter weight all the way up with a pause and then we're going down really slow doing six inhale and exhale watch the spine it's staying in a neutral spine elbows are tucking in they're not out isolating the triceps biceps rather Tricep is back behind. Two more. Up. And slow. Up. And slow coming down. We're taking a breath here. And then we're doing what we call bottom half. Halfway and down. And we're doing six of those. Halfway and down. Again, it's one of those shorter range of motion. It's three, four, five, six. Arms are hanging, stretching it out. And then we're doing the top half. We've done full range of motion. We've done bottom half. So now it's just top half and we're not coming down to the leg starting up and six five four three two one lift the weights walk the feet in use the ankles and then we're turning the weights and bringing them down taking them down safely Still working the bicep muscle. So we're taking the weights out. Elbows stay in, fingernails up. Full range, up and down. Two. Not slinging the weight. Use your arms. Three more. Three. Two. One. Lift the weights. Bring them in. And relax the shoulders for a moment. Deep breath again. Fill the lungs up. It's a belly breath. We're not holding the abs in here. Really using the diaphragm muscle. And then I'm going to change weights. Because we'll be going away from the body. So these are five pounds. No, these are four pounds. I thought I had five pounds. And I was using the six. I got to dig out my five pounds. So feet are hip distance. We're coming forward slightly. Let me show you my spine. I'm not rounding and I'm not arching. My back just popped. So remember that hip hinge? I say it all the time. We're hinging from the hips. So we're coming forward. We're going away from the body. Lifting six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sitting up for a moment. Take a breath. My face is itching. <clears throat> Top of my feet are itching. My hands itch. That's my allergies. <laughs> now on, my feet and hands will itch. So we're going to do six more of those. And we're lifting away from the body. You can do one at a time. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Sitting up and relax at the base of your skull. When I'm here and lifting away from the body, I feel it at the base of my skull, but you know I have a bad neck. <clears throat> and some of us have deteriorating spine. I do too. <clears throat> so we're going to work the backside of the upper arm. <clears throat> And we're going to face forward, sorry, 
but we'll drop down here. We'll start right here at the hip. We'll go back and we'll pose for three, two, one. Again, that small movement and slowly bring it down. And we both arms at the same time. You'll have to lift away from the chair, which is what we need to do. And it's harder work when we do. Pressing back and let's pose. Three, two, one. Squeeze the arms, stopping at the hip and back. Three, two, one. Back down. Three, two, one. Only doing six because we are pulsing. Three, two, one. Two more. Two, one. And again. Three, two, and one. Bring the arms down. Turn the weights where they're facing forward and tilt the weights down. And up. I had a lady that nicknamed this flashlight, which is a good name for it, I guess. Anything you want to call it? Wrist and forearm, so is what we're working. Gives us range of motion here. Two more. So some of the things today, we're doing six reps. Some we're doing eight. And the abs, we usually do ten. <clears throat> we still need to work the back side of the upper arm. So we are turning using just one weight. You can sit the weight down or have it on your front leg. I'm going to sit down, starting with the end of the weight behind. So what we just did here is the same thing we do here. So we're not going to do that one. We are going to do some tricep push-ups. Lean forward slightly and lift. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Now we're going to stretch the arm out. We're going to draw it up the body and take it back. Bring it in and press it down. Let me show you. Side view. So from here, I'm, going, I'm even touching my body. That keeps my elbow in. Elbow out. We're not isolating this tricep muscle. Let's do six of these. Up, back, in, and down. Up. We are pausing. It's a slight pause in between each move, making it harder. And breathe. I see so many people, when they're working out, they hold their breath. I've done it myself, especially when it's something new, up, back, and in, and down. I think we have one more. It won't hurt us anyway if it's an extra one. And bring it down. Turning around, and my shoulders are really feeling the workout. <clears throat> Even though when we're isolating a, a muscle group, it still works some of the other muscles also. So with the elbow bent, and we're lifting. Up and down. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the arm down, draw it up the body, pause, reach behind. Bring it in with a slight pause and down. That's one. Five more. Keep moving slow and not slinging the weight. Use the arm. Keep the elbow tucked in. Two more. Up. Back behind. In. And down. And one more. Up. Back. In and down. Lift the head up, step the foot in, and turn forward. We need some water. A little break for water. I like for us to have at least three sips of water in an hour. Really, probably better to have four sips to keep us hydrated. I am fostering a very sick dog. 
he's very abused, sick dog, and I have to force fluids down him. And it's so important for us to stay hydrated. <clears throat> We're going to start without the, the weights for our abs. And try to get at least eight minutes of ab work in. So <clears throat> with starting on your right side. And I'm just barely touching, or you can take the fingers away. And all we're doing is crunching. You may want to take the feet out a little bit. Ten. Nine. Eight. Not sitting all the way up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stay here on this side, and we're going across. Lift the heel, or you can lift the foot. Ten. Nine. Pull the abs in. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three more. Three. Two. We're crossing the midline of the body to get the obliques. Other side, starting with the obliques. Oblique crunch. This arm can come to your leg or your waist. Neutral spine. Remember that Pilates neutral spine. Tailbone under. Abs engaged. Ten. Nine. Crunch. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. We'll add weights in. In a little bit. And last one, sitting all the way up. Take a breath, and we're crossing over. Ten. Remember, you don't have to lift the foot off of the floor. I'm lifting my heel and just reaching. This is five. We're halfway. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Sitting up, let's roll the shoulders, and we're about to pick up the weights. With the, without the weights, remember, you don't have to use the weights here. And we'll alternate with our feet, but it's a upper and lower ab crunch. But we're not hunching over. The spine will round just a little bit. Because we're drawing the upper abs towards the lower abs and the lower abs towards the upper abs. We are alternating legs in 10 sets. 10. It's also a little stretch in the back for me. Remember, you can lift just the heel. Make a nice crunch. We're reaching upper abs to the lower abs. And we're breathing, right? Five more. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Sitting up, going to your right side with one weight or no weight at all. Abs engaged, tailbone tucks under, shoulders back and down, and ten, nine. We did this without weights. We've added in weights. In five, four, three, two, one. Sit up, change out sides. You hear six pack abs, you hear that all the time. We all have it. It just doesn't show like some of these people who really work out, but it's there. That's our core muscles, part of our core muscles. Ten. And even though we may not can see them, we're moving them, we're working them, and we're making them stronger. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Sitting up and take the weight to the leg. We have a few more minutes. So we're going to put the weight down. A few more minutes for ab work. We've got plenty of time to work out. Um, Trying to do a full almost 10 minutes abs today. At least eight minutes. 
This is the Pilates saw. <clears throat> you can also bend your elbows, depends on your shoulders, but inhale, twist to your right, exhale, come forward. Inhaling, and we're still inhaling as we're twisting, exhale forward, in front or behind <clears throat> your leg. We're doing 10 sets of these. This is two. Remember, check the abs. Pull them in. I forget to keep mine in sometimes when I'm working them. If the back arm hurts when you're reaching behind, take the fingers to the shoulder or the arm stays down. Just reach and reach. It's a spinal twist also. Also works the shoulders. Our arms are lifted. We have a lot going on here. Reach and reach. Reach and reach. Four more sets. And three more sets. Doesn't matter where you are. You may be sitting up when I'm crunching. It doesn't matter. Breathe. And then we're sitting up and bring the arms down. Let's relax the arms for a moment. Nice deep breath. We're going to step our feet in two steps, each foot two steps, one and two. Going into push-ups for the chest and the back. Start with hands on your, your thighs. And then we're turning the fingers in. The elbows are out. Abs engaged, come forward as far as you can, and we're pressing up, not sitting up, pressing all the way up. Keep pressing up with the palms and come forward. And when we're pressing the, uh, squeezing the chest as we're pressing up. Four more. Four, three, two, last one, sitting all the way up, going right into the tricep push-ups. Turn the fingers, the elbows are in. Keep the elbows tucked in, and we're pressing up. Eight, seven. Elbows still in. Six. Five. If you're not pushing up, you won't feel this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax the arms down for a minute. I'm really feeling this today. Take the arms away. Your thumbs are up. And then we're turning the thumbs back. If that doesn't hurt, it's not much of a uh, stretch in the tricep. And then relax the arms down. We're going to pick up one weight. We're going to do a little more chest work. If we had, a, you know, when those balls you could squeeze here if you have one you can always you know, bring it to class here and you can use it but we're going to lift this weight the elbows will go out and if you can see i'm holding on to the weight and all we're doing is squeezing and we're not changing we're not uh, slouching here squeeze the chest muscles eight squeeze seven six Five, four, three, two, and one. We did eight of those. Lower this down and roll the shoulders. Remember, we used to do that in school with the ball. Isn't that what we did? I forgot. And if we were in the room together, we might would go overhead. But I don't like to do that when we're not in the room together. Overhead weight for me is very, very hard. <clears throat> so let's do four more here. Sitting up straight, abs engaged. 
four, squeeze, three, two, and one. When we're squeezing, you should see the chest move because we're squeezing the chest muscles here. Then we're going back to, to both weights. And we're going to turn the weights up. We're going to lift the weights. And one at a time, we're reaching out. So six, five, four, three, two, and one. And turn the weights, bring them down. <clears throat> Couple more moves. We're going into the back again and chest. And when we come forward slightly with the straight spine, straight spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head, I'm looking towards you. If the head is down, you've lost that straight line. And all we're going to do is pull up. And we're keeping the arm close in. So six, squeeze the chest. Five, four, Three, two, one, drop the arms, turn the weight, knuckles facing forward, and we'll lift up. This is really gets into the muscles in the back. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's sit up for a moment. You can take the weights down or let them hang. We're going to do another set of those. With a deep breath here, exhale through your mouth. Come forward again. The, the end of the weight facing forward, elbows in. And when we pull back, we're drawing the shoulder blades in and squeezing the chest. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Arms turn the weight. Elbows will bend. Eight. I mean six. Set. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stretch the arms out. And take the weights back to the legs. One more thing. Let's walk the feet out. And we're lifting the heels. And we're pulsing. The more you're off of your chair, the harder the work. Heels lift and pulse. Three, two, one. And down. Let me get my feet right. Three, two, one. And down. Two, one. Three. Two, one, pulsing out, two, one, last one, three, two, and one. We're going to set the weights down. We're through with them, but we need to we work the thigh. We need to work this, um, what do you call it, hamstring muscle. And we do that by the heel. I'm going to turn sideways. The heel on the chair leg. And then we're going to pick the foot up. The foot is not on the floor. The foot is flat. We're going to just squeeze and press into here. We're not coming forward. We're not moving here. We're protecting the hip. Just working the tricep muscle. Let's press in. Six and five. This works. Two more. And Keep the heel there. You can take the toe down for a moment because we're going to do six more of those. I have my hand back where you can see my hip is not moving, but you can have your hands here. <clears throat> so we're going to pick the toe up and press. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. If I can get this leg out of the way where you can see, a heel is lifted and it's not going to work. 
not going to work. My leg's in the way. Remember, this case, this does not move. This hamstring moves, so press. Sit, squeeze, and squeeze as you're pressing. Two more. Press and squeeze at the same time. Take the toe down and just breathe. Lift the toes and press. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the toe down and then the foot down. And let's stretch the right leg out. We're on the heel. Toes are up. Coming out in reach, or both hands over to your other leg. Stretches the leg and the lower back. Sitting up, keep the legs there and twist. You're twisting to your left. The right leg is still extended, left knee still bent. Feels good on my back to twist. Coming out of our twist, change legs. We come forward, stretch the back of the leg. So this is that hamstring and calf muscle that we just worked a few minutes ago. It needs to stretch out. Sitting up, legs stay there, twist to your right this time. Out of the twist, step the foot in, and then we're taking the feet out wide to stretch the inner outer thighs. Take the arms up, inhale, exhale. Just up and down. If you feel in the back, when your upper body comes forward, take your hands to your legs. Support that upper body weight. Two more. And one more. Ending up. This is star pose. Spread the fingers out. Bring the elbows in and take the hands down. Walk the feet in using the ankles every chance we get and cat and cow. Deeper than in the beginning. So we're arching the back, chin is lifted, stretching the belly, and then round. And that should feel really good. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Inhale. And exhale. And then ending in our cat stretch, you can stretch the arms out. Palms don't have to touch or hands, but not pulling on the knee joints. They can come right below the knees and round. This is opening up the thoracic spine. Shoulders press down. That's where my spine is degenerating. I'm starting to feel it a little bit more. And this is relief for me. And it's a nice stretch. Bring the arms down, sitting up, and we're reaching the right arm up or hand to your waist. We did this for ab work, but we're stretching here. And if you want to just go back and forth without the arm, let's do this without the arm. We're opening up the rib cage, stretching through the obliques, and moving the spine lateral. And it's a nice stretch. I feel all the way down. You may not want to come this deep. We're not reaching for the floor. That's not our goal. Our goal is to stretch. Back and forth, one more set. And then we're sitting up. <laughs> On your right side, if you cannot cross this midline of your body, 
then just take the outside of your right foot to the floor. I know you can't see this. I can't get my phone to turn down. If you can cross the midline of your body, cross at the ankles. Let this knee fall out where it wants to. Or you can come up above the knee if I can get here. Now see how my knee is lifted? That's because I'm tight in my hip, which is fine. This knee, I'm not forcing this knee down. And I'm going to come forward just slightly with my chest. So by doing that, I'm feeling it back behind. Yeah, if this bothers your knee, bring your uh, ankle down. And then we're sitting up, right leg to the side of the chair. I'm turning where you can see. And we're on the toes, not the heel. Lean back, press through this leg. Now we're stretching through the front. I am tight in this hamstring, I mean, in this quadricep. And that's, that's very unusual for me to be tight there. And setting up, other side, we're running out of time. Remember, you don't have to cross the midline of your body. You can just be on the floor here. This is still a hip opener. No need to go any further unless you can or you want to. And normally my knee is not up this high, so something's going on. I'm tight there. Come forward slightly. And I think I mentioned this before. <clears throat> I was getting tight in my quadriceps. Bring the foot down, go sideways. I'm getting tight here, so it's starting to pull here. And that will give me pain. I've got to work on that. In fact, I'm getting knots. We're leaning back, pressing forward. Nice stretch, feels good. And then lean forward before you step the foot in so we don't hurt the back. And then we're, we're going to lubricate the hips by some circles. Just a few. Change your direction, we're only doing three. We're lifting the arms as we're inhaling. The palms come together. Bring them down. <laughs> and namaste. And thank you, everybody. And happy Friday. We have sunshine. I will see you next week. So enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. You too. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.